So now we will install a 5 LTM local traffic manager and VMware workstation. We have three different approach to install this uh, F5 LTM. One is EVENG, the other is, is GNS3, and the third one is the VMware workstation. Now it's up to you guys which uh, virtual environment you like. The first one is I'm using a VMware workstation. The VMware workstation I'm using is 15, version 15. If I go here and check, if I say so, I'm using version 15 and the system i have 16 gb ram and window 10 so if i go to my system and check but it can be 8 gb or whatever you can still run them but in my case 16 gb ram with 64 and window 10 i'm running in my case how we can install this one so you have to go to file open okay and the image which I will show you tomorrow how you can download the image okay but right now I already have download a big IP 13.1.3.0 with LTM which is called VMware OVA OVA is the extension which is used with the um, VMware workstation which is open virtual appliance this is the extension like a Word document, Excel document. So VMware is using Open Virtual Appliance OVA. So I click on this OVA file and open. Okay. So it come with the end user license agreement. Just accept it. Next. Just give them any uh, a good name, whatever you like them. Suppose if I say 13 English. Okay and give them the location where you want to save them. In my case, I will save in D drive, but you can uh, save them in any location you like. Okay, so give them the name F5, suppose. So I give them the F5 and save in my D drive. You can give them in the C and default drive as well. Now they're asking me deployment option, how much RAM and CPU want to uh, give them this F5? It's up to you, this is four. This is 8 as well. So let me give them this one. 2 CPU and uh, 4 gig RAM. So import. Click on import. If you have a much RAM, you can give them more as well. But it will work by the way. In 4 as well. So it will import like this one. So I choose the LTM one. And then I accept the agreement. Then I give them the name and location, whatever you like them. And in this case, I use this button right now. I use the two one. So it, the import will take a bit time. It's totally depend on your system. And my system maybe it's take two, three minutes. So in that time, let me show you. So we will use the interfaces this way. The first interface in VMware is the management interface. So better to give them a bridge. Bridge can be your Wi-Fi, either your uh, LAN. The other one we will allocate them to our LAN segment, where our data center server will be located. So this is a, the second interface is my LAN. The third one is my WAN interface, where the outside uh, user will come. And the last one is we will use them for HA, which we will use in later. But right now I will leave them as a host only. So the first one is bridge. Second one is the dedicated LAN segment. I will show you what is LAN segment. The third one is the net one. By default in VMware, three interfaces coming. Bridge, LAN, uh, sorry, bridge, net and host only. So the, I will use the LD one. So it's like a, this one. First interface, uh, will be management interface the second will be our lane the third one will be our main and the last one will be ha so let me go there yeah it's come up now so it's imported big ip with english i give them so all the interfaces is bridge i don't need all the interfaces bridge so let me click here either here whatever so the first one is uh, uh, automatic bridge one it's okay this one is for the management Second one, I will create my LAN segment. So there is no DHCP, no nothing. So I can assign to my server any IP range. So click, I have already here. But if you want, you can create a LAN segment. Suppose if I say server, server is not there, yeah. So you can create servers, either DC data center. 
so i will put this in servers so this is called lane segment you can create so many lane segment so this one is my lane where my data center server will be attached the third one is the uh, lane oh, sorry when so this will become net net interface in vmware is like a, it will connect you through internet and the last one is the host only this one we will use later in the course when we deploy to f5 ltm okay active passive so these are the my interfaces first one is management this is lane this is when and this is ha so you have to use the same now the bridge one basically if i click here so interfaces i change where is the bridge one basically when i click and edit and come here and click change setting bridge will not show up here when you click here so it will show so here i connect the bridge to my wi-fi if you want you can connect to your loopback you can connect to your lan but in my case in uh, normally it's automatic so it's better to change them to wi-fi either your lan so it will the first one will get my wi-fi range ip this one will get nothing i will assign manually the third one which is this subnet so let me see the net one so net when subnet will get 192.168.114 ip and the last one is the host only so a host only interface range let's see uh, sorry not this one go to edit virtual so the ha range will be this one we will use because in these two there is uh, dhcp enable 145 okay and start the appliance so i change the interfaces in this way you can use any other way but this will be best you don't need to change any to create any new adapter because it will make you more headache you can utilize the same thing and you can do your lab okay so i will give you the more detail tomorrow what is this virtual interface lan what is lan what is net what is host but right now uh, follow this way okay so when it started it will show like this is starting okay it will take some time after a while it will ask the username and password by default the username is root cli okay there are two way gui and cli so command line interface user is root and the password is default this is the default username and password so we will put the username and password and after this you can configure if you want to change the management ip either it will get automatically through dhcp so in my case i am using bridge which is my wi-fi so wi-fi subnet is 100 so it will get from 100 range this one but if i want i can assign a static ip as well and what is the command use a config it will use the configuration utility and it will ask which ip you want to assign just next and then put that ip in the browser and access big ip but here the gui username and password is different admin admin okay so the uh, cli user is root and default in here so let's go there maybe it's come up now so it's still uh, starting it will take a bit time okay so after a while it will ask me to put the username and password so let's see uh, what they gonna ask me so the username is yeah it's come up now so what is the default username root and the password is default and enter if i put the username and password correctly so it will come up with cli is come up now but look at it say localhost root is the username root is by the way the administrator in linux the super user so root and it's a local host is the host name here and no license because we haven't licensed them yet so here you can say if config mgmt means if config means in linux we use this command to show me like a ip config and window and enter look at it's get automatically 100.114 range this is our wi-fi range because in virtual environment and management interface 
DHCP is enabled. But in real environment, you will see the IP 192.168.1.245, which I show you. So now it's up to you. If you are happy with this IP, just type them here. No need of anything. And access this device. So 192.168.114, sorry, 100. And what is the IP 114, I believe. Let me check it. Yeah, 114 and enter. But it should be HTTPS because I put them HTTP. So HTTPS and enter. Okay, 192.168.100. Let me see this one. 114. 168.100.114. It has to come because it's and you can ping them here that is pingable or not the best way is to at least test them so go to my system ping 192.168.100.114 so it's pinging yeah so this ip is okay yeah okay i enable proxy so let me disable this one due to this issue sometime okay so let me open again okay this is just due to proxy sometime when i enable so it will not come so let me go to my other browser and even you can ping from here as well ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. so it has to ping yes and also you can ping what is my router ip 100.1 so it's pinging it means the communication is there the only way is we have to type this ip and enter okay uh, i am writing the correct ip 192.168.100.114 yeah is correct https and enter so it will ask you the uh, uh, certificate so click on advance go to accept the risk and continue okay and now it's asking me a big ip redirect it will come the gui the graphic interface okay so just wait a while so it will redirect them okay and let me clear the screen control l to clear the screen by the way uh, the most of the command is linux space okay it's come up now here the username is different admin and admin okay and now it will enter you to the uh, LTM uh, not now I don't want to save the password now tomorrow we will discuss because there is no license so we will put the license how to get the license this is our tomorrow topic this one we will register here we will go there we will register our user when we get the license we have to put the license after registration you can get three licenses with one email three time so you can use them for uh, 30 days but it's okay 30 days 30 30 and then again you can request three times and we will download the image and we will put this is the license which you will get through email and you have to copy that license here which we will discuss tomorrow but anyway now let me put because this ip is through dhcp but i want a configuration myself so come here and type config config means configuration utility and click here if you want your own ip so configuration utility has come just click ok and it say that your ip is through dhcp you want to use this 100.114 which is i just get i say no so on tab button either with arrow button i go to no i say i need 100.100 this is the good ip for me and then i tab and ok then say what is the net mass means subnet mass i say 255 three time you want to use the default gateway yeah it's okay because i'm using in the same land but if you, uh, you accessing from another network so it's better to have a, a route but it's a yes so it's a management route yes click tab and okay and yes so this is my detail okay if i yes so the uh, configuration configuration will be confirmed and this utility will be closed and my cli will come now i cannot access them with this ip if i refresh so it will be not accessible anymore on this ip because i change the ip if i say f config mgmt means management 
So look at my IP is now 192.168.100.100. So I have to go back here and type 100.100. And now again click on advance. This is a certification warning because we are not using any certificate. It's not certified. And come again and type admin and admin. So this is the way to install big IP and your VMware. I just import them and just type the username and password. Uh, check the IP with if config management. If it didn't get the IP, it means your first interface is an issue. You can change the interface, either check your bridge, it is properly bridged or not. So for management, I use this one. This one is for the lane, this is when, and this is for the uh, HA. Okay, so let me go back. I don't think so. I miss anything. So yeah, we just put the IP and we log in. So this is the way to install them in uh, 